Hi, it's Sharon from digitalnomadwannabe.com. This is just going to be a really short sort of mini training on what happens during a negative SEO attack and what you can do about it and sort of how I monitor this situation. So like a lot of you know, I had a, I had a big one earlier this year um, on one of my other sites. Um, it was a bit crazy. I would never have expected this to be honest, except for maybe on a high earning site. And, and that site does pretty well, right? But in saying that, I only built like nine links to that site, like ever. So a anyone could just beat me just by writing content, basically. So there was no reason to really take me down with the negative SEO attack. So it kind of surprised me. Um, and in that case, I only learn about it afterwards. Um, so Google Fred, I think it was called, hit in March and my traffic went down 90% with that update. I didn't get a penalty, it just went down 90%. It was getting about 25,000 page views a month before that. Now, I didn't realize until I think the end of that month, I just happened to see it and I was like, what the hell? You know, so I didn't realize I was losing a lot of money in that time. That site was making about 5,000 a month. So that was a huge loss, obviously. Um, and then I was trying to work out what it was. And eventually I went to this screen. You can see in Search Console for that site. This is for Digital Nomad Wannabe, but I went for that site. Um, and I downloaded the latest links and then it was really obvious what had happened. So for the last, um, it was like a month and a half or two months or something, there was 40,000 extra links added to this site, right, that really had no links being added ongoing. So it was really obvious. They were really spammy and, and you could just look at them and just know that they were a negative SEO attack. So when people ask about how you know, um, I'll go through how I knew just now and show you, um, but it is fairly obvious, but it does require you to have some understanding of what the links look like to your site naturally, okay? Because different sites will see different amounts and different sort of ones. To say where Sharon, it's like quite normal for me to have 50 links a day to that site and a lot of them look pretty crappy, but that's just normal. So it's only when they look different to that that I, that I worry, right? Um, and yeah, it, it was really obvious with the links to the other site. I, I disavowed them. I'll talk about that more about that soon. Um, and uh, not all the traffic came back. I think about 80% of the traffic came back. But that's kind of natural anyway, right? Because some of that traffic, I might have actually, like, I might have got a boost in traffic temporarily because of that attack um, before Google worked out they were spammy crap. And, 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 you know, they didn't literally give me a penalty, but obviously they penalized me in some way. So, um, yeah, so I didn't go back all the way, but that's probably in part because of that. Plus, like, there was just so many links. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't go and check everyone individually. So I probably did disavow some links that were actually fine and were probably doing me good. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Um, I was just relieved the traffic came back and that took a few weeks and then it, it, it started to come back, thankfully. Um, but anyway, so did you know I'd want to be now because of that? Once a month, I checked that site and I checked my two blogs. Um, just to see because if I if I checked it regularly before, you know, I would have discovered it before that penalty happened and I might have been able to stop that happening. Um, so, yeah, now I check once a month. I have um, an email alert come from Google Calendar to tell me it's that time of the month <laughs> um, and I do it then. So today I went to do it. I actually nearly didn't do it for Digital Nomad Wannabe because I thought it was so unlikely someone would attack that because I don't really rank in Google. There's just one post regular, a little bit of traffic, right, and that's what they attacked. And it's actually very low traffic. And um, yeah, it still surprises me they would bother, but they did. So anyway, what I do is I go into Search Console. This is what I recommend you look at. There's no point looking at what Moz has for your site or whatever. Go to the source, see what Google has. There's no, you know, like who really cares what someone else thinks. This is the authority that we care about. So I'm in there for Digital Nomad Wannabe, search traffic links to your site. Um, and I click this download latest links and that gives me a spreadsheet. So I already downloaded it. I've renamed it, but um, this is what it gave me. Um, I think I actually deleted some of these before I started moving on to another site page. In fact, I deleted quite a lot of them. I deleted the multiples of ones from the same site or ones that were legitimate. Because um, there was ones like, you know, like some of these sites is like 100 from each when I had that first spreadsheet. Um, so anyway, I got a whole lot of these. Um, and this isn't the best illustration because I deleted them. But what you would have seen is suddenly I saw like 50 for the 26th of August, 50 for the 25th of August, like that, right? Now, what I'm used to seeing for Digital Nomad Wannabe is like, um, like not many. So like here, you can see this is what's normal, right? So there's like a few a day and, you know, you can just look at those blog names. Mostly I recognize them, right? That's my Google account, it's blog love and that's where Sharon, you know, Digital Nomad with Kids, it's easy to believe that they link to me. Um, you know, Amanda Kendall, you know, I know her. Thanks for linking to me, Amanda. She might be listening. Um, you know, 
so you know pro blogger right like one weird globe you know thanks chris um so you know i just look at them and they somewhat make sense and there's some like this that look a bit dodgy right like why would that be linking to me but the occasional ones is very normal every site's going to have some spammy links like don't worry about it you should see where sharon there's so many but it's about what's normal right so what you're used to getting but when i open it up for now and there was like there was just tons right for every day had tons from all these foreign language sites that just look ridiculous so you know, there was a whole heap from this website. Korean websites in particular seem to, they seem to go after me. And when I looked at them, so say here, I mean, I already wrote what that was. They're mostly actually no follow links, but they still come up. So it shows you Google is monitoring them. Um, the anchor text is the same in all the ones that were comments. So that's why I could see what posts they were going after very easily. Um, these were all such crappy sites. Usually it took ages to load the ones I did manually check. Um, but they're, they're comment, comment spam, basically, that someone's just automated. They link to my site um, and they're all pretty much using the same anchor text, which isn't great either. Um, so a lot of them were like that, you know, and then there's ones, that, I mean, a lot of them, I'm just looking at them and guessing, you know, like, like Dallas Korean woman, why would that link to me? You know, all these foreign ones, because it's really hard to go check each one. I checked quite a lot of them manually just to see what was on there. When I did, it was generally the same anchor text and all that. Um, but, you know, it's just, you know, you've got a. if you get a whole lot, this is not so bad. But I had, you know, tens of thousands to the other website. So I just couldn't do it. Um, is this one? Oh, come on, load for us. Well, that shows you how dodgy that site is because it did load just before. Um, so a lot of them were comments. I'm trying to think of one. Because mm, sometimes you can't always see them very easily on the page. But when I was looking, they were all like the anchor text was Aweber versus Get Response, I think it was. Um, like you can see, this is all foreign. Here we are. They were all like this. So Aweber versus Get Response, my blog name, and they all linked to the email marketing services comparison chart that I did, and they all have some weird comment. Um, so there's a whole lot like that. So that's um, you know obviously someone's done that on purpose. They're attacking me. They were all from around the 12th to the 14th of August. The comments. So. Um, Hopefully they just did it over a few days, but I expect it takes a while for these things to show up. And when you're dealing with dodgy websites, like what these are, you know, Google doesn't re-index them that often. So, you know, I expect over the next month or two, even if they stop doing it on those dates, that I'm gonna see more of these, so I'm gonna have to really manage it. Um, so yeah, it is somewhat obvious, okay, compared to um, normal links, you'll notice a difference. You can see, even though I've already filtered out a whole lot of ones here, um, that, you know, these look very different from the links I showed you earlier where they did look like legitimate links to my site. Um, there's also like some pretty dodgy ones. I know this one before, it was a Brazilian one and, you know, I don't understand Portuguese, um, but, you know, it had the word penis and stuff in there. You know, that's really not what I want linking to my blog. So anyway, what you do next is, is technically you're not meant to disavow links with Google until you've tried to get them removed yourself. But, you know, if I contact all these sites, they might not even speak English. They obviously don't care or they wouldn't let all these comments go through. You know, oh, there's the penis one. Fabulous. Um, like, you know, I, I'm just skipping straight to disavow. So I just sort of use a bit of um, a bit of um, Excel and um, get it back to this format. So it's like that. So it disavows the whole domain because I don't really care about any links on the whole domain. Um, and that's what you have to put into a disavow file. Um, eventually I get to the disavow file, which I don't have open, of course. Um, so this is what I end up having to submit to Google. Now you do that in Search Console as well. So there's this disavow links in Search Console. I usually just Google how to get to it because I always forget. Um, and then you can just upload it. Just make sure really carefully that you upload it to the right um, blog if you have multiple sites in Search Console and then that will disavow it. Like I said, when I got the attack before, it took about three weeks to come back. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully that gives you some idea of what a negative SEO attack does and what you need to do and how you can sort of determine it. Um, but I really hope it doesn't happen to you.